many bottles of this wine we can't pronounce Too many bowls of that green, no lucky charms The maids come around too much Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book outlet unboxing and this box is actually so heavy It's not that large like I've gotten bigger book outlet boxes But there's something about this box that's extremely heavy So I don't know I don't remember what I bought I placed this order a long time ago This box has been sitting in my room for probably over a week So I really don't remember what I bought guys, but before I even get into the unboxing I have some really awesome stuff to share with you guys about book outlet and how you can win a free order of books this week as some of you guys may know, I'm a book outlet vlogger friend, which means basically that whenever I buy books, I have a little page on their website where they post all the books. So that way, if one of my viewers sees my video, wants one of the books that I purchased, they can just go to my page, find the book easily. So because of this, I was asked if I could share with you guys a really cool, exciting thing that's going on on the website this week. And of course, I said, yes, my viewers have to know this. So starting today, Monday, all the way until Friday, every single day, Book Outlet is giving away five free orders to somebody that purchases books. Every single order that is placed on Book Outlet this week that is over $35 will automatically be entered into a giveaway to win that order for free every single day this week. Shipping costs will be included for winners and they can win up to $100 worth of free books. To my understanding, if you win and your order was over $100, they will cover up to $100 of the order and then you'll just have to pay the rest, which is still a super awesome steal. This giveaway is open in the US, Canada, and basically internationally. So basically, anybody that places an order of $35 or more of books on Book Outlet during this week, Monday through Friday, has a chance to win a free order of books. So, after seeing my haul today, maybe there's a couple books in my box that maybe you're also interested in purchasing, you can go to my page, click the books, add them to your cart, spend $35, and then potentially not have to spend anything because you might win free books. So, I just thought that was super awesome. I'll have the link to Book Outlet, my page, everything else that you need to know, all the information kind of typed out. So, if I was talking too fast, you know, you can understand it better. But, I will have all that links down below. I hope you guys are excited about that. That, but now we're going to be getting into the book unboxing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the box. I have a knife right here. But um, from what I do remember, I think I placed a lot of really random purchases in this order. Like I think I wanted to do like a fun, not just YA book haul with this. So I guess we'll see what I bought. I literally don't remember. So I think I just stabbed a book. Okay, this box is so heavy for no reason. So first off is a bunch of a bunch of stuff on the top. And now we'll get into the books. First book that I have in the box is The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. This is a YA book, I believe, about a teenager who loses her boyfriend to a swimming accident and has been changed ever since, but decides that she finally wants to kind of turn her life around and actually start doing things again. And I'm not really sure 100% what the book is about because I haven't read it and I just kind of read a brief synopsis online when I bought it, but I just thought it sounded really good. I love Emery Lord. I follow her on Twitter and all the social medias and I think she's wonderful. So I'm really excited to give this book a read. If any of you guys have read it, let me know down below. Next book is one that I was super excited to find on Book Outlet's website, and that is Summer Days and Summer Nights, 12 Love Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins. You might know Stephanie Perkins from the Anna and the French Kiss franchise series type trio thing. She put together this book with 12 really awesome, high acclaimed authors in the YA community. Stephanie Perkins also edited another bind up kind of story thing like this that I believe was 12 Holiday Love Stories, which was also really cute and I actually did read. But I wanted to get this one for a while, but Every time I went to the bookstore, I just didn't buy it, but I found it on Book Outlet at a super cheap price, so I decided to pick it up, and I'm very excited to read it, just in time for summer, which is coming hopefully soon. Oh my god, there's so much snow on the ground. But yeah, I'll be reading this this summer. Okay, when I told you guys that this book haul was gonna get random, I wasn't lying. Next book I have right here is Nice Cream, 80 Recipes for Healthy Homemade Vegan Ice Creams. And the reason that I bought this book is because, if any of you guys know anything about vegan ice cream or nice cream, it's basically an ice cream that a lot of vegan vegan people make that is made with bananas. Frozen bananas in your blender, you blend it up and it makes this really nice frothy ice cream type of thing. You know, it looks like ice cream. It's the texture of ice cream, but it tastes overwhelmingly like bananas. And you know, me, I'm a big banana fan. I love bananas. I put like four in my smoothie when I make big smoothies in the morning, but I've never been a fan of banana ice cream, nice cream, whatever you want to call it. So when I saw this book, I was like, ooh, maybe there's some recipes in here that'll make me like banana ice cream or nice cream, you know? So I decided to pick it up because it was super cheap. It looked really cute. And I just want to give nice cream another shot. So I'm definitely going to be looking at this, reading up on it, trying to find some good recipes, and I guess we'll see what happens. Next book is one that I know is very popular in the YA community, booktube community, but I really am not sure what it's about. 
and that is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I've heard so much about this book but I still have not read it. I remember going to BookCon and there was arcs of this book and I never got my hands on one but my friend did um, and I was really sad about it because then it got super popular and I never got to read it so I decided to pick it up off of Book Outlet. This book is humongous and it's so cool looking and the dust jacket is really fun so I'm really excited to read this book. If you guys have read it, if you're a fan of the series, I know that there's more than one book out by now but if you are a fan of it definitely let me know because I'm excited to get into it. Next book that I got, another super random one, is the Diet Doodle Diary and this is sort of more of an interactive journal in which you can kind of write down your daily exercise and food diary and stuff like that and I've always been really into like keeping a food diary and like writing all my stuff down and like it makes you really motivated when you write down like I drank eight glasses of water today like yeah like drinking water, being healthy, my body's a temple. So I decided to pick up this book because I thought it would help me actually write stuff down and be more conscious of what I'm putting into my body, you know, all that good stuff. So I decided to pick this up. I thought it could be fun. Next up, I have a really interesting looking book, but I'm really not sure what it's about. And that is Panic by Sharon M. Draper. And I know I've heard a lot of people talk about this book and I've definitely seen it at Barnes & Noble before, but I'm not 100% sure what it is about. I know I definitely read the little synopsis and it drawed me in enough to put it in my shopping cart, but I'm still not 100% clear on the concept of this book so if you have read it let me know. Yet again I have a really random book coming up next but I just kind of wanted to show you guys that on Book Outlet it's not just YA books and like books for young adults. You can find adult books, you can find dieting books, you can find books about herbalism. This is the complete illustrated guide to herbs and how to use them for healing purposes and I became interested with herbalism actually probably three years ago around when The Fault in Our Stars came out starring Miss Shailene Woodley who is a huge herbalist herself and has talked about it publicly and it really fascinated me. I really look up to Shailene Woodley. I think she's just like such a natural woman and I admire her so much and I wish I could be more like that. Um, so I wanted to try and so I bought this book which is all about different herbs and their healing properties and like how to ingest them or use them topically or anything like that. So I just thought it sounded interesting and really I just wanted to learn more about it. So I decided to pick up this book. It's actually like really nice and hefty and it says on the back it's $25 and I probably got it for like less than half of that. So super awesome on you book outlet. And the last two books that I have to share with you guys are ones that I actually read back in middle school and I was thinking about them and I saw them on book outlet and I was like wow I'd really like to reread those because I remember them being some of my favorites from middle school. So the first one is Fever 1793 by Laurie Halls Anderson. This one I read in sixth grade and I really liked it. And the other is another Laurie Halls Anderson and this is Chains and this one I read in eighth grade. So both of these I read in middle school and I really enjoyed both of them. This one is about yellow fever and this one I believe is is about a young girl who is a slave and it was super intense and crazy and I remember I had to cram read this because I had a test the next day and I hadn't started the book so I read the whole book in one night I stayed up to like 4 a.m. as an eighth grader, as a 13 year old, 14 year old, however old. Um, yeah, I like stayed up reading this book and I really actually enjoyed it and I'm pretty sure I aced the test too. So yeah, but I remember really liking both of these and I wanted to have them in my collection. So I'm glad that I got both of those. Okay guys, so I guess that's going to be it for my book outlet. <laughs> Okay guys, so I guess that's gonna be it for my book outlet unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this one If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below Also, if you want to be notified every time I post a video You can hit that bell down below so you can get a notification when I post I post probably like once or twice a week about books sometimes about other stuff Also, don't forget to go purchase some stuff from book outlet get some stuff for yourself for a chance to win your order for free this week So that's super awesome and again I will have all the information on that down below as well But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video video and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Bye. Too many white lies and white lines. Super rich kids with nothing but loose ends. Super rich kids with nothing but fake friends.